Okay, just going to give you a quick walk around of our 2015 Peugeot Boxer motorhome. Painted the bumper color coded to match. Added some orange vinyl highlights. As you can see, the Remus blinds. Down here, we have the electric hookup. Already turning cream, so that'll need replaced. And down here, we have the refillable gas. Heater vent and uh, water filler. Plus, can you just see there the taps for wastewater and fresh water emptying? Up top, a TV aerial yet to be used. Bathroom vent, skylight, 100 watt solar panel. And at the front we have another skylight. So moving inside now you see the seats. They have come from IKEA Sedona. They were the middle row of a uh, Kia Sedona, an older model, I can't remember what year, but I did used to own one and I remembered that they came with their own slide and swivel. So I've adapted that, taken the runners from the Kia Sedona and mounted it on top of part of the original boxer seat and just need to fix that there. Um, got them recovered. Twin armrests and just down here I have the swivel and also in here we have the Remus blinds. Make a very tidy insulation. See just here. Underneath the seat we have the, the room heater and the water heater. And this table is mounted to a fairly standard rack which allows it to slide up and down. Plus it's fully removable with a fold up leg and fits nicely up here. Now all the wood is lightweight plywood, all bought from Magnum Motorhomes. Inside here I have carpeted and for insulation I just have camping mats above that there, a couple of layers, works a treat. Standard skylight above and these doors once again Magnum Motorhomes um, they have a nice curve to them excuse the mess in there um, they didn't come with this white on it but that's just vinyl I added they have strong hinges on them so I don't need a catch on that just pulls very tight here we have the TV connector, which I've never used, plus the water heater functions. Now just here in the window, this is all 
the plywood covered in fabric. I was just added another bit of plywood covered fabric there to cover the join. Just added a electrical socket underneath with USB. And here, just sunk the panel in, used fabric, put some fabric panels in behind it and just covered it with this plastic U-strip just to finish it off and was quite pleased with the result of that there. All the upholstery and the seats by the way was done by my mother. The seat frame was welded by myself and mounted through the floor with plates underneath. vent there for the heater. Raised seating area with some mini spots, LEDs which are linked to the the door so they just come on as you open the door. Up here just are in the kitchen. Lights, electrics. You pull up Fairly standard. Oh, sorry, outside, forgot to say I have an awning light along there, which also stops any drips. Slimline LEDs in the ceiling, front and rear. Some LED strips. Just routered in to the light, lightweight ply. Very pleased with how that turned out. And also on this side too, on the full length. All this is with standard knock-in edging. You can check the voltage of the batteries, how much water, turn on the outside awning, and turn on the water pump. Another standard cupboard there. Fairly standard cook arrangement. The worktop was got from a local kitchen manufacturer, which I trimmed to fit. Just made a slight curve along it just to add a feature and use the same for the table. I had to learn how to put the edging on myself, which was a wee bit of a challenge. Mini wardrobe. Fridge. Three-way fridge. And bathroom. Skylight. Shower hook, shower curtain.
just have the toilet waste coming out into the van. Not a problem at all because it's sealed. Decorative panel with point hooks. And bed area. Two cupboards. Controllers for the heater. And light switches. This is a six foot four bed. Six foot three, six foot four. Um, plywood panels, standard to here, then a cut the hole. This here has some silver bubble wrap foil insulation, plus two layers of camping mat, and then six mil ply. And then I used expandable foam and some fiberglass to create the curve along with some ply just to finish it off. Smoothed it all off, carpeted and hey presto. Six foot four bed. Twin bike rack. Open storage, excuse the mess, and cupboard there, just general storage. Cupboard there with air vent is all the electrics, and you see the bed rails underneath IKEA. Twin leisure batteries installed in there. One of my favourite features is the fly net. Absolute brilliant job in the summer keeping flies out but letting plenty of fresh air in.